Hey guys, Testy here. Today I'll be giving my first impressions review with On's first offering into the Super Trainer category, the Cloud Monster Hyper. So far we've seen the Cloud Monster 1, the Cloud Monster 2, and now we have a much more performance inspired option with the Cloud Monster Hyper. And with that being said, let's get right into it with some of the basic specs. My men size 8.5 weighs in at 8.9 ounces or 245 grams. Stack height you're looking at 37.5 in the rear, 31.5 in the forefoot for a heel to toe drop of six millimeters. The Cloud Monster Hyper does fit true to size and overall upper lockdown fit is really nice in this shoe. One little attention to detail that I really like about this shoe is the laces. Uh, they're actually rubberized laces. That's just a small little detail, but I love it in this shoe. Uh, they, the laces feel really nice in your hands and being rubberized, they're going to stay tied up much better than a non-rubberized lace. And yes, for those of you wondering, the insoles are removable. Now we move along to the midsole and this is where all the performance upgrades are coming compared to the Cloud Monster 1 and 2. So right off the bat, this is the first training shoe from On that features some Piba foam. Now the whole midsole isn't Piba, it's actually just this white section and it doesn't run the entire length of the shoe either. It goes about halfway down or about two thirds of the way down the shoe and there is no Piba foam in the heel. And then surrounding that Piba foam is On's Helion foam and it's easy to tell where that is on my shoe, it's the green section. And overall for a shoe that uses some Piba foam, uh, it's definitely a little bit more on the firm side compared to some of the other shoes out there that use full Piba foam. Overall, this isn't a firm ride though. Just keep in mind though that it's not going to be as soft as some of the other super trainers out there. Another major difference with this midsole is that there's no speedboard in this shoe. So it appears that On is becoming more comfortable not using speedboards in some of their shoes. Uh, Cloud Surfer, Cloud Surfer Trail, and now the Cloud Monster Hyper. All three of those shoes do not feature a speedboard. And if I'm being totally honest, I don't think the shoe needed one anyways. First of all, the shoe is stable enough without having a speedboard. And then in terms of uh, energy return or responsiveness, uh, the shoe does just fine because it does have that Piba foam. So I think in terms of a performance standpoint, a stability standpoint, the shoe did not need a speedboard. And also leaving it out also kept the shoe a lot lighter than if it had a speedboard. Now we move along to the outsole and you're getting rubber in all the high impact areas. The channel in the center is closed off, so gone are the days of getting stones stuck in your outsole. Seems to grip just fine on wet pavement. And one thing I'll make sure I update you with in my full review is the durability of the rubber. I had the first version of the Cloud Monster and I know I wore through the rubber on the outsole fairly quickly. So overall, the shoe feels really great. Uh, it's definitely the fastest version of the Cloud Monster. The shoe also has a bit of a rocker geometry and I feel like uh, just going through the gait cycle is very, very smooth in this shoe. One thing I wish On had done is extended this, the Piba foam all the way to the rear. I feel like it would just soften up the landing, if, especially if you're a heel striker. But overall, I think this is a really nice first offering into the super trainer category for On. Being a shoe that fits into that category, I think it checks all the boxes. It's just fine at easy runs and obviously it shines the faster you run in it. So I have done a little bit of tempo in this and it feels really nice. For myself going forward, I think I'm mostly going to be using this shoe for tempo runs as well as some faster paced long runs but overall the shoe should be able to handle your easy slower runs your faster long runs and most of your training in between and it should be able to this shoe being in the super trainer category comes in at 220 dollars in the u.s or 280 here in canada and when you're dropping that kind of money on a shoe in the super trainer category it should be able to be a very versatile shoe and handle a wide range of paces be durable and i'm hoping that's everything that this shoe turns out to be and now if you're looking at on and having a full running shoe rotation for easy runs daily training you could look at the cloud surfer or the cloud eclipse and then for all of your workouts and some long runs you could look at this one the cloud monster hyper and then for race day, of course, the Cloud Boom Echo 3, and that's going to be On's best offering for race day. So anyways, hope you found this first impressions review helpful. If you have any questions about the shoe, leave your comments down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.